Researchers at the University of Bedfordshire in England are calling for sulfate mist concentrates to be discharged into the sky to diminish the sun, trying to stop coral blanching. The specialists trust that as a reward, geoengineering will likewise have the capacity to stop typhoons. Normal Blaze reports. Typhoons are involved for busting coral reefs, and there have unquestionably been some effective ones this year. They think fake planet coolers are the approach, a sulfate sunshade over the seas. An examination by James Crabb at the University of Bedfordshire looks at this type of geoengineering and squirting a billow of sulfate, dioxide, mist concentrates into the upper air over the Caribbean areas. Utilizing PC models to anticipate temperatures and coral movement from 2020 to 2069, they chose that their proposed arrangement is the best to drop temperatures and keep coral populaces. Moreover, sulfate infusion into the air to control storms has been bandied about. Their hypothesis of faded corals is that when the ocean is too warm, corals remove the little green growth living in their tissues, which should bolster them through photosynthesis. In any case, at that point the corals turn white and starve to death. So fundamentally, the scientists have a one-track brain to just hold temperatures down. In any case, there are a couple of issues with this goal. Number 1, a system of this greatness could have a significantly sick impact on the whole environment, particularly in the event that it is upsetting a characteristic back and forth movement of nature. Number 2, the glaring issue at hand, geoengineering has just been going on for around two decades with substantial metal and aluminum nanoparticles exuding all through the sky through stream chemtrails. They wait and scatter for a considerable length of time and hours longer than the contrails of yesterday. However, we are continually let it know isn't going on. Then again, we are informed that later on, geoengineering could help cool the earth, yet it is as of now incident and appears to associate with rising temperatures. Rather than having the coveted light reducing impact, the type of geoengineering occurring at this moment really influences individuals to feel like they are living in a convection stove albeit light may for sure be diverted away. Along these lines, the third issue with their model is that they forgot this colossal variable of the current geoengineering and its continuous, fake impacts on climate and noticeable daylight. A few people accuse the most recent too many years of geoengineering for really causing the coral reef fading by means of solar radiation mining and the likelihood that it starves green growth and thusly gags out corals, angle, and so forth. This essayist genuinely doesn't know, yet in the event that that is valid, we would need to recognize the present impacts of worldwide diminishing. Unfortunately. The New Scientist article reverted into a bazaar of arrangements and hypotheses that look just as they were intended to adapt the peruser to the first geoengineering arrangement. Some of those met had less extraordinary answers for help the coral, yet despite everything they included modifying the environment through infusing small rises into the sea or seeding existing mists to make them brighter. Then again. A Harvard teacher showed up at first to descend geoengineering by saying that sun-based radiation administration has symptoms. For instance, it could disturb territorial climate examples and storms which would significantly throw off unsurprising cultivating designs. In any case, he toppled his own contention by then saying that psychological militants could stop the procedure and afterward the advantages of the geoengineering would be lost. Which is it, Professor? Would geoengineering advantage the sea or not? This absurd, fantastical contention just serves to help an extraordinary geoengineering measure, there was no genuine talk in the article. Crabb concedes that we don't have a clue. What might happen to the marine condition in that situation? In any case, the circumstance is presently so outrageous that we need to make arrangements.